Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are cozied up on the couch getting ready to talk about the five most expensive items in your wedding planning budget. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday and like I said, I'm taking a different approach for today. We're a little bit more relaxed, um, just chatting on the couch here, got my white fluffy pillow and I'm ready to talk all things wedding. So this list was compiled from some of my past weddings that I've done and there's just been a common theme based on the most expensive items that they've had in their budget. I feel like this video could help my brides kind of realize like, okay, these items might be at the beginning of the list and it might be a lot of money up front, which is kind of unsettling a little bit when you're getting into the planning process and you're like, oh my gosh, I've already spent 50% of my budget and it's been one month. But the key thing is that these first five items are going to be your most expensive so it gets a lot easier from there and that's what I try and tell my brides is it's okay if you're halfway there you're good because you got the five main things so let's go ahead and dive right in I'm excited to talk about this topic and here we go the first thing is going to be your venue this is typically going to be the most expensive thing on the list um, in my area Northwest Arkansas venues are ranging between four to six thousand dollars but you do have venues that are on the lower end and venues that are on the higher end also i did want to point out that a lot of venues do have different things that they offer every venue is different some venues have on-site catering to where you might be spending uh, money on the venue as well as them providing the food it just depends and you just have to be educated on what your venue offers i do want to point out that a lot of these rates are based on Saturdays. Saturday is the prime wedding day of the week, so you're going to have to probably pay a little bit more to get married at that venue on a Saturday versus a Sunday or a Friday or any day during the week. And I would recommend that people do Friday or Saturday weddings, especially if your family's in town. If most of your guests are traveling, then you're probably going to want to go with that Saturday date but if they're close to town, it would be nice to kind of cut costing a little bit and do it on a Friday or a Sunday or any day during the week, whatever you prefer. The second biggest expense in a budget is going to be your photographer. And I tell my brides all the time, it's okay to spend money on a good photographer. Your photos and videos are your memories. So I feel like it's so important to get someone who's a professional and a professional is going to cost money. So in my area, like I said, every area is different and every photographer is different, but you're looking at about $3,000 to $5,000 for a professional photographer. I promise you guys that is totally worth the money. And like I said, every budget is different. If your budget is ten dollars to $15,000, it might not be the best choice for you to spend $5,000 on a photographer. Choose whatever works best for you, but I do want to say photography is one of the most expensive and most important things in your wedding budget. Number three is going to be a wedding planner. The planner is the main point of contact, the person who makes the day flow smoothly. She can help you answer any questions along the way. So to pay for this guided help throughout the process is very important and it is why it is in the top five items. Wedding planning prices are dependent on the planner. Some planners take about 10% of the budget, while other planners do set rates, or it's based on your guest count. That's kind of how I do it. I customize all of my weddings, and it's based on location, if I have to travel, uh, my guest count, the amount of design that is needed. Like I said, everybody's different, and typically in this area, we're finding that a full service planner is between three and five thousand dollars. These rates vary based on the wedding. The fourth thing I wanted to chat about is food. So this is a very related to your guest count as well. If you have 300 people and you're serving a plate for thirty dollars per person, that is going to be a lot different than serving 100 people and $30 per person a plate. So this is all dependent on the type of food you're wanting. You can get something up to $12 a plate, which is going to be possibly a taco bar, versus $30 to $50 a plate, which is going to be a prime rib, a salmon, something more high end. So there's ways to cut costing on this, but it is going to take up a big chunk of your budget to feed everybody. Something common lately is graze boards and stations and things where people don't actually have to sit down and eat dinner. 
that is another way to help with costing. Um, food trucks are also a great way to do that as well. It's 2020 and there's just so many different kinds of things that you can do to help with this expense. The fifth thing that we're going to talk about, which is kind of a shocker to most of my couples, but it's actually flowers. If you want a wedding with just beautiful arrangements and big installations, that's going to take a hit out of your budget. Most vendors around here have a $2,000 minimum as far as their flowers go, so you at least know that you're going to spend about $2,000 on floral, which is typically the basic item. So you have your boutonnieres, your bouquet, um, your bridesmaids bouquets, um, corsages for mothers, and that's pretty much the gist of it when you're hitting that $2,000 minimum. So if you're wanting big centerpieces or an arch or um, things going down the pews in the chapel, um, that's going to cost a little bit more money. I've worked with $2,000 flower budgets, but I've also worked with $10,000 flower budgets. It just depends what makes sense for you as a couple. So a couple final thoughts. I did this video as well just to kind of talk through numbers a little bit. I think that as you're planning a wedding, it's hard to just see thousands and thousands of dollars that these items are worth. I kind of had a little bit of sticker shock too when I was planning my own wedding, but when you add the word wedding to anything, it just doubles, triples, quadruples in price. <laughs> but I think that it's great to be open and honest and just kind of tell people that if you have a $10,000 budget, you're going to make it work. If you have a $100,000 budget, you're going to make it work. There's weddings of all shapes and sizes, and whatever that budget may be, you're going to have a fabulous wedding day. Today was based on averages, so I threw out the number three to five thousand dollars for a photographer but you can find a great photographer for fifteen hundred dollars if that's what your budget entails i don't want anybody getting discouraged from this video thinking that you know my budget's not that high and i just don't have that money to spend on that professional that's okay there's great people all over the country who would shoot at that price and they would shoot amazing photos. So a few housekeeping things. We will be shooting again um, for next Tuesday. Um, sometimes my timeline is a little off. I have shoots going on or weddings going on. So um, it may be a Wednesday or Thursday by the time I actually get a video uploaded. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that this video was helpful. Please like this video or give me a comment or just give me a shout. Um, like I said, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I'd love to chat with you more about your wedding day. Thanks so much. Bye.